Uh, I came through the Mighty Oaks Warrior Programs Fight Club for Men in August of 2014. That was after eight years in the Marine Corps, two combat tours to Iraq, and six years of contracting. I'd uh, really destroyed uh, relationships with those people that are, were closest to me and that I was supposed to care for the most, uh, most notably my, my wife and my kids. In my own background with the Army and, and with law enforcement, I had a lot of experience with people suffering from post-traumatic stress. I just wanted to do something. I wanted to see what I could do to make a difference. The, the veteran suicide rate uh, in America is 22 a day. The divorce rate amongst combat veterans is over 80%, and it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, it's my passion, it's, it's, it's my love to, to share that healing with, with other men that I see who are going down that road to divorce and destroyed relationships with kids and try to just stop that. There's no way to heal without coming into a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And where that healing comes from, it, it comes from aligning your life with what you were created to be, the man you were created to be. Starting on April the 28th, Dave Allison and I are going to set off from the, the State Capitol building in Sacramento, California, and we are going to ride to Marine Corps Base Quantico in Virginia, spreading that message, the message that was brought to me, given to me, instilled in me by the Mighty Oaks Warrior Program's Fight Club for Men. The route itself is, it averages out to about 75 miles a day, I believe there's five or six days we'll be riding 100 miles. You can expect that your backside is going to hurt from the day we leave till the day we arrive there. There's rain, there's hail, and you struggle through it and keep going. You don't stop. So I know that it's going to be a very painful, uh, very arduous journey, but uh, I'm going to get to see parts of the, my country, <laughs> the country that I love dearly, that I, I never would have seen uh, in any other way. What I really hope to accomplish, in all honesty, is that we get the message out, that we can reach those that truly need um, the benefits of this program. And these men truly are the leaders in our nation and should be the future leaders of our nation.